just got back from one of our recent trips to Leon Hall, which we take every Easter. Um, Leon Hall is always f fun for the kids involved and for the leaders involved. This year, during the children's free time, we had um, a pool and table tennis tournament. The activity that we do every year, which everyone loves, is go karting. Um, the leaders love it, and the kids love it. It's a great experience, and it takes on most of our Saturdays. We had a lot of empowerment activities this year, and it's really hard to try and remember everything that happened. Um, one that I think that a lot of the teams had trouble with was just trying to keep a ball in the air. For, um, ball got thrown up in the air. It was kind of like volleyball, but in a circle. Um, but I think a lot of people struggled with that one. We also had one where they had black tubes, and they had to try and get a ball from one end of the courtyard to the other end without dropping it. Um, on the first night of Leighton Hall, we normally play a game called the Wide Game. It's normally just the kids running around in the dark. Um, in previous years, the kids have been really fr nature friendly and have gone to give the trees a hug. Unfortunately, this has also led to bruises. So this year, we decided to try something different. We did. Um, we had four activities going on on the first night. We had a scavenger hunt. Um, we had a puzzle hunt. That was also a treasure hunt as well. Um, we had a race on the go-kart track and we also did the caterpillar game um, on the courtyard. I was in charge of the scavenger hunt. It was really great seeing the kids work together as a team and just building relationships and it was just, it was just amazing. But I think the icing on the cake, especially for the leaders, because we've never, done, never had them before, well I've never had them before, was walkie-talkies. Me and Saskia were the most excited out of everyone because we had walkie-talkies. It was absolutely amazing. And I think a classic which everyone loves, just the kids go extremely mad for, is of course the Easter egg hunt. Um, we go around and we hide little Cadbury cream eggs everywhere and then we just let the kids loose and it is just so funny watching them running around hit running around trying to catch these easter eggs they look like headless chicken it is absolutely hilarious it is absolutely great fun i can't wait for next year it's definitely going to be a lot of fun if the activities we did this year anything to go by next year is just going to be absolutely amazing it's so cool that we have walkie talkies right yeah. it's so it's amazing so cool. i'm <laughs> so glad that we have walkie talkies <laughs> it's the best part about the whole I thing i played with my brother lorenzo with my what are you doing there and it broke immediately Yeah, the Tillin show. Um, because because we had some time problems as well. I think everything just was so squashed together. But it was so funny. Claire, Hannah, and Alice they did a sketch, kind of a play, and it was it was amazing. It was about a company for discussions or something. And basically, Hannah would say something, and then Alice just would go like, "No, it isn't." And Hannah, "Yes, it is." No, it isn't. Yes, it is. And it was it was hilarious. And oh, Ben Kingham, Ben Kay, and Aiden, they did a comedy thing. And apparently, they just made it up on the spot. Like they had kind of a plan, but not really. And they just made it up. And I didn't know that Aiden was that funny. I mean, sorry, Aiden, but. That was hilarious! It was so great! I always thought like Ben K would be the one that like, does all the talking and all the jokes, but it was hilarious. It was great. And um, Lorenzo and his band, which would be Stevie, Chris and Aiden, they did a few songs, and Abby of course, Abby sung. They were amazing. I mean, they all only play like the instruments only a few years on there and they're so good, they're so talented, it's amazing. Nicholas did a saxophone solo, which was amazing. I like saxophones. Goodbye children! So at Letton Hall this year we had uh, lots of times to worship together. We had a Five Storm band um, who've been together for a few months and they're just getting better and better. It was really great to see all of the young people really engaging with worship in their own way but together as a group. Um, being at the front singing you can sometimes look out and just see the way people are responding to God. In some of the times of worship 
There was a real sense of God's presence. Blair! Yeah. It's Julie! I mean, Maria! <laughs> it's Hannah! So I'm going to talk about um, the room that we called Your Space at Lenhall. Hall. Um, and when we went there, uh, me, Daniel and Anna and Em decorated it and put little fairy lights everywhere and nice colour paper, made it look really nice. And um, and then what we did was we put Bibles in there, paper, colour pencils and some little sheets um, for, which had everyone's name on, like one sheet for each, per each child, each person. And it was an opportunity for other people and other children to come in and write something positive on those little sheets um, so that everyone would have something positive to take home with them um, after the weekend was finished. And kids could also go in there to pray, um, to spend some quiet time with God and just to draw some nice pictures to put on the wall. Oh yeah, we were also colouring yeah, in that room. We had these giant pieces of paper. Um, that had the, like the fruits of the spirit, which is joy, love, peace, patience, and all those. Um, yeah, and um, and um, yeah, and so the kids had to come in and paint the big giant fruits that we had. Each one had a fruit uh, for for the word. Um, so love had I can't remember what love had, but um, was it a pineapple? I can't remember. But anyway, yeah. So each fruit of the spirit had a real fruit, which we had to colour in, and all the children came in bit by bit and coloured them in. Dan, did you enjoy your meal? No. no. <laughs> so yeah, Len Hall uh, had lots of really good talks uh, led by uh, Andy and Sue Frost once again, really, really good. Um, the theme was the fruits of the spirit, which is in Galatians chapter 5, and there are nine of them, let's see if I can remember them, love, joy, peace, patience, goodness, kindness, gentleness, faithfulness, and there's one more, you're going to remind me of it Dan, no? No, it was really, really good, we had, uh, so we divided up the sessions to focus on sort of each of them or groups of them, and we did some activities to uh, help us sort of uh, get them into our minds. Uh, there was one where we had to dress a member of the group up in newspaper, and the idea was to give them items of clothing that looked like um, various items and things that you could relate to sort of uh, goodness, uh, faithfulness, gentleness, uh, th that sort of thing. Uh, my, I think my favourite was the, um, the watch of patience, that was a, a good favourite, and you had the goggles of, of goodness, and I think there were some photos of us uh, parading them around. But that was really, really good, because it got us um, thinking and being creative and thinking how can we how can we live out the fruits of the Spirit? How can we make sure that we're sort of wearing them and, and displaying it out to others at all times? Um, there was also uh, an activity where we had to uh, eat uh, donuts uh, that were on a string and, um, and everyone had to try and eat them with just their mouths, uh, not um, using their, their hands, I think. And uh, I think the idea was that um, they had to sort of listen you know, for, for sort of instructions and make sure that they listen for the right instructions because there was no reason why they couldn't sort of reach up and pick it the way Andy introduced it. Um, he made it look like they couldn't use their hands, but that wasn't actually in the question. So it was all about making sure that we're, we're listening properly. But it was great fun nonetheless, and there were some uh, fun pictures of everyone just sort of, you know, getting really messy and stuff. So it's that sort of thing that sticks in your mind and, and helps these things to uh, stay in your mind so that you know how to, to live them out, really. So, uh, yeah, that, that was my memory of what we did. We had a great time. Looking forward to the next one. Learn Hall was, was really good this year. It was really good to see the uh, young people really going on with God and um, looking really hungry and wanting to go on with God. Um, one night particularly, or one day particularly, we were um, having a time of worship um, and then I just looked out across everyone and just seeing everyone jumping up and down, uh, their hands in their air, really going for it, not holding back, that was pretty cool. Um, next year we are in the house, um, we're going to have much more rooms, we can take loads more people, so we're going to fill the house. Um, and we are going to, we're expecting uh, more of the same, uh, more time with God, more teaching, um, more time to, to practice, to step out on the gifts and to, to go after God um, in a way that we, we don't always get to do at home. Um, 
Perhaps you might want to bring a friend if you've got someone um, you, could, you think of who would really enjoy Lurton Hall or you just want to bring along, then um, do that. You know, we've got loads of space, we need to fill the place up. Um, so start thinking about that now. Start praying, asking God who he wants to, uh, to, you to, to ask and invite to come to Lurton Hall next year. Time to worship. Uh, turn it off. <laughs> <laughs> How's my hair? Good. <laughs> no. No. Okay. That, yeah. So. Oh no, Dan! You can't put me on the spot. <laughs> uh... <laughs> okay. So I'm going to talk about the.